Welcome back, everyone. It's it's eight uh, ten minutes nearly to two. It's eight double two three double o double o is the number, or you can email us at on air at five double a dot com dot au. We of course have the Wallace Cinema Double Pass. We were just talking to Michelle Cripps, who is the first executive director of the Centre for Creative Health. Um, at the new Royal Adelaide Hospital. And one of the artists that will be exhibiting in this amazing gallery, which is about 300 metres, there are three of them connected to each other, all in the floor where the outpatients come for their appointments, is a lady called Miranda Lloyd. And Miranda has been a long associated with the visual arts. She's been a travelling Australia painting large-scale murals in many tourism and destinations, illustrated a number of children's books for publishers, as well as experimenting with abstract and surrealism, using mixed mediums and exploring many materials that create textures of her own work. She's also a surfer, and many of her artwork reflects the ocean. Um, and also she was featured in the Blue Thumb online Australian art gallery, where Miranda has made the top 20 selling Australian artists out of over 4,000 artists nationally. She's exhibited at the National Wine Centre. She's produced artwork for wine labels, for God's Hill Wine in Lindock, for the Surf Lifesaving Club, and also she's had work featured in the VIP Platinum Room at the Sky Casino. This woman has also been a finalist in the Brand South Australia Regional Awards in 2014, and she was nominated again in 2015. And Miranda, you have been an extraordinarily busy artist. Oh, thank you, Rilke. Um, it's an extraordinary um, breadth of work and, and variety from illustrating books and children's books and um, to large-scale tourism murals. Where did this talent start, stem from? Uh, well, as a very young child, I was always very arty. So I would say it's just something I was born into and uh, through life I just sort of developed it and I started out doing graphic design for about 20 years and it's not until the last eight years uh, I've become a commercial artist. It, that's a huge challenge, isn't it, taking yourself into that art space because it is a hard life to actually earn an income from. Oh, certainly, certainly. It's uh, a lot of uh, what they call sweat and tears. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, it's, but it's very, really rewarding and that's why I've always had, you know, my graphic design side as well. And then I do my artwork as well, but it's just uh, taken off the last few years really well. So. I'm just going on a good ride at the moment. <laughs> well, it must also be exciting because to be involved in such a um, new and disruptive way to think about art related to health, <coughs> excuse me, and also in particular to be one of the first artists to exhibit at the new RA. Yes, I was over the moon when I was contacted by Michelle last year and I'm really overwhelmed to be part of the opening um, of the creative, oh, sorry, of the Centre for Creative Health at the New Royal Adelaide. It's truly a world stage uh, with amazing architecture and serious facilities. And I've had a tour for hospital. It's just amazing. What uh, what can people see of the work that you're exhibiting at the hospital? Because you do have such a, a, a wide interest in, in style and also in um, subject. Yes, yeah, certainly. I actually painted 28 pieces um, especially for this show uh, to be in line with their water and earth sense areas. So I basically have painted the best pieces that reflect these subjects. So I've done a lot of my, I'm known for my signature trees, flowers, vines, beach, animals, Australian wildlife. But I do have my own unique style and I would say it would be modern uh, and abstract style. But I use a lot of heavy texture in all my pieces and that's what seems to you know, really draw people to the paintings. Right. And with the fact that you started life as a graphic um, graphic designer, do you see that come through in the work that you're doing um, with the subject matter? I would say a lot of my art, I would say, has a design factor because it's very sort of, you know, it's either like, uh, like almost not like a print, but it's their real um, showcase feature pieces. So when you walk in the room, it's quite... You know, in your face. people. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And I have been told by another uh, gallery I'm joining up with uh, that they could see that they could see that design side. Because mm, I think it's very hard when you're trained in, in, in an area of design, you can't help but sort of structure your thought process when you're putting paint to a canvas. 
um, and so that it needs to come through. With the work that you're exhibiting at the hospital, what were you in oils or acrylics or what was I the use medium? A, um, a lot of mixed medium, but it's also mixed with the acrylic. But I do finish with a high gloss varnish, so it, you could say it even looks like an oil painting because of the heavy textures that you'll that you'll feel and see on the artwork. And is, do you have a favourite? Uh, I would say, uh, look, I always do a lot of my trees because they just sell a lot, so I just keep doing them. <laughs> but I, it, and I would say, like, living in the Adelaide Fields, that's a big focus. And But then again, all my beach subjects, I love doing anything in blue because blue's my favourite colour. And I also um, paint to match my own home. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, one of the things that I'm fascinated is that you've spent time travelling Australia and you've been, you've painted large scale, scale murals in tourist destinations. Tell me some about some of those. Uh, yeah, well, when I was 19, I started out in the Whit Sundays. I had a promotion job there, and I then met a girl, and then we travelled Australia. And part of that, I actually uh, did a lot of murals in cafes and hotels and things like that. It sort of paid for our travel as well. <laughs> And in the centre, I always remember being at Earth Rock and there was, the, I think it's a Pioneer Hotel. So I ended up doing a lot of murals through their hotel there as well. And, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it made the travels exciting. It, well, it certainly has made it would have been um, a great way to have a feed and a beer yeah. and put a bit of weight on the wall. <laughs> and you've also exhibited the, uh, the National Wine Centre. Yeah, so a few years ago I exhibited there and that was fantastic and that's how I also then got the deal with God's Hill Wine with the wine label because they'd actually seen my artwork there. So it's amazing from doing one thing, the door's open to another thing. Mm. Because the other thing that's really interesting is um, the Rothschild um, uh, wine label, uh, the Rothschild family who owns a number of vineyards in um, Bordeaux, etc. Mm -hmm. They have, for decades, and this has been going on for well over 100 years, they have always had a famous artist create a painting that they've used then as their label for that year. So they've had Picasso and all sorts of painters. Oh, wow. Yes. So it's actually, a, you know, for budding wine makers and people thinking about their wine label or even now their gin or bar, the, the, the physical a label is such an integral part in the product. And it makes yeah. it really important. Um, how did you end up being um, a featured work in the um, Sky Casino? Oh, well, again, um, that, they were actually contacted Juxtapose um, Gallery where I was visiting. And because on their website, they found a piece which was called Tranquility and they just wanted to purchase it. So they actually purchased it for their upgrade and new platinum room. So, and I've actually not been in the platinum room because I don't have a pass. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a photo and it features on Channel 10, but um, I actually hadn't gone in to see it. Cause, uh, I think you, you know. need to arrange to actually <laughs> physic. When did it get put into the room? Oh, uh, that again would have been, I reckon it was two years ago, I think. Okay, I think you need to arrange. We had actually the CEO um, into the studio a few weeks ago talking oh. to us about the upgrades and the changes. And so I think oh. you need to actually, uh, we need to get you there so that you yeah. can actually see your work. Because I think, yeah. do, you, um, do, do you find that people, um, when they're looking at your work and they're attracted to it, and if they have the opportunity at an exhibit like this afternoon or when you've been at a gallery, and things and exhibiting and they're talking to you they really want to um to make sure that it integrates with their home and how it's going to sit but it must be very hard because you haven't physically been there to know whether oh. it works yeah oh, well, uh, funny with that because i actually do do a lot of custom orders and, and this is even interstate wise because 90 percent of my art now each week is sold to homes mostly in new south wales victoria and queensland but i actually work for photos so people send their you know, living room or bedroom, and that's what I work from. And even colour swatches and fabric swatches. So I actually do, do a lot of custom orders to fit home. That's actually a really, a, a, what a wonderful gift for a significant birthday or wedding anniversary or something like that, to be able to then commission a piece of work to fit into, or if you're, you know, building a new home or renovating, then making your art as part of that whole um, redesign. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And I've even had buyers buy, you know, five or six pieces and they've decked out their whole house because it's gone in with their new interiors and so forth and furnishings. 
<laughs> Miranda, art is a very therapeutic and it has been used for healing for a really long time. Um, so being a part of the Centre for Creative Health, it has great connections. And d how, d how are you... Um, what do you feel that you want to be able to express in your work at the Royal Adelaide? Well, you'll probably find my work is very... Uh, well, a lot of my blue stuff is very vibrant, very bold. Um, so, it, to me, I just want people to take something positive from it. So, if they're there for um, an appointment or visiting, at least, you know, they've got something to look at and uh, take in some of that, you know, positiveness and... Yeah, I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> yes. Well, we look forward to seeing it at, at the gallery. It officially is launched uh, this afternoon at 3.30 by the Health Minister. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Miranda, if people would like to see your work and, um, and then have no reason to be going to the hospital, how do they... What's the, the website that they can have a look at the work that you do do? Uh, yes, they can look at um, my own website, which is my name, mirandaloyd.com.au, or they can find me on Blue Thumb, which is um, Blue Thumb, and then .com.au, and just search for Miranda Lloyd. And I've also got some artwork down at Glenelg Art Gallery as well. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and I wish you great success. Thank you so much, Rilke, for having me. Thank you. That was Miranda Lloyd. She's one of the first artists. There are three that are going to be launched this afternoon, and they're exhibiting at the new RA at the.